All right, everybody, I'm out here in the square here in Murfreesboro again. The event tonight is Friday Night Live. They got some uh, live bands here tonight on the square over there. And then uh, over on the other side, got some food vendors over there. So I'll probably stand just on the other side of the food vendors and uh, see if some people want to talk about the Bible. Preach the word of the Lord, Lord a little bit. You notice there's plenty of police officers around. The place is always swarming with them, but my estimation is they just don't have anything else to do. This is the only thing going on in town, so they all surround the place. And then when you hear things on the news, like recently in California at a uh, garlic festival, somebody came in and, and shot some people and whatnot. So, you know, the police, police are there are to keep the peace. So praise the Lord, we want peace. And uh, there to uh, uphold our constitutional rights. So that's what we're looking for when we come out here. Lift up our voice and free speech and freedom of religion. Praise the Lord. going on supposedly for three hours tonight starts in about an hour so we get set up over here nonetheless because obviously we're not here for the specifically for the event we're here for the people so I think I'll go in that corner over there let's see Snyder banner, one we've seen before. It says, Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And it says, awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. How do you know what he said? got everything wrong when they printed that book. How do you know what he said? Because I'm a Jew. That's why. Well, what, did, a Jew. what did he say? Well, he said it differently. He said, Obey my father's commandments, and thou will be allowed into heaven. That's what he said. Where did you get that from? The Quran. The Quran? Yeah. The Quran is the raving of a madman in a cave. No, the Quran that was Muhammad. Okay, yeah. Jesus. Did you read the part where a devil grabbed him by the throat and Muhammad okay. thought he was going to kill him? Here, here's the thing. Okay. You believe that part? First off, you get his name wrong. Until you can get that right, you're not getting into heaven. What name? Muhammad? It's a combination of two Greek gods. That ain't his name. No, there's it's, no it's Jesus. The no, there's no J. Well, I'm speaking language. English. This, this is God's words preserved in I'm English. I'm sorry. His name is the same in all <clears throat> languages. It's Yeshua. You know, God created all the, the languages. The Father, God and Lord is a title put into a book by a British king. Okay, it's not the name. What of the What British Father. king? King James. Well, he didn't write the Bible. No, he is the one who commissioned it. That's right. That's right. So That's he's right. the one who had those words put in the Bible. No, he didn't have them put in okay, there. Okay, then what is the real name of John the Baptist? I only speak English. Excuse me. I can't he, speak he Aramaic was, or Greek or anything. Jew, so he was named a Jewish name. Okay. Or okay. Name. Well, what was it? Yachinan. Yachinan. Okay. But I speak English. He's John the Baptist. No, it's not John the Baptist. You go to heaven, you start using that language. You're not going to probably probably a little more. What? You got to think with the whole man. Where do you get that from? That's not in the Bible. John. That's not in the Bible. It says only the Son knows the Father. Only you can only get to the Father through the Son. Okay. Jesus said that I am the way and the truth and the life. No, no one cometh unto the Father just by me. Okay, it's right after 316. Just keep reading. Well, we'll take a look at that. Okay. So have you been cleansed from your sin? That's the question. Oh, long before, long how, before how did you get cleansed from your, skin, your sin? How it baptized in sin. 
Well, right. baptized doesn't but clean you from your sin. Yeah, I was baptized in blood in a war, okay? Don't, don't go that doesn't save you from your sin. Yeah, it does. Going to war doesn't save you from your sin. No, it's a religious war, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, not no. by the words of, of God. Maybe you, maybe Muhammad's God. No, not if you Muhammad's If you murder God. people, Muhammad says that you can go to heaven. Well, of course, that's wrong. No. So, so what do you do? You pick and choose parts of the parts of the Quran. No, I don't so, so let's see. We got John three sixteen right here. So, what were you talking about? Just let me. I'll hold it. It's okay. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. I don't know. I'm not your friend, but what do you got? You got to move your hand. Okay. You know, whatever this is, if we can set them all like that, that'd be perfect. This is the best one so far. One, two, two, three. Again, the Lord. His name is Yahweh. Uh, if I spoke Hebrew, you don't speak Hebrew. No, I do speak Hebrew. You do? Yes. Well, that's pretty speak cool. speak 18 different languages. Really? That's right. All right. Check one, two, one, two, one, two. All right. So this one. You move your hand just a second. I'm not well, you Bible. said right after John 3, 16. It's in John. It's in the third chapter. So what's the verse again? Maybe I can remember it. It has to do with only... Only, you can only go to the Father so through the Son, and if you don't know who the Son is, you can't get to the Father. That's the gist right. of the verse. Right, okay. right. You have to go through Jesus Christ. No, you have to go through Yahshua. Well, if you're speaking Hebrew, if you want to say it in Hebrew. When he can be called the same in all languages, he will return until then he's not coming back. That's not what the Bible says. Where do you get this stuff from? Where I come from. Okay. See, we still believe what do you mean, where you come from? You're not, you're not an American? My family has deep roots in America. My mother's family has been here since 1782, as a matter of fact. My okay. father's family brought the YMCA and the Methodist Church to the United States. Okay? Okay. So, in fact, Fargo, North Dakota wouldn't even be Fargo without my family. All right? And Newark, New Jersey, and a bunch of other places. So also, you're from America, but you say where I'm from. That where what I'm are you talking from about? Is Asheville, North Carolina. Okay. Yeah. And it's a huge Hebrew community. That's why the Vanderbilts were there. That's why the right. Canines were there. That's but this is God's words preserved in English. No, that is a perfect. Book written by man. You are going to be man. judged by this book. No, I'm not. This is God's that's preserved that's words for you. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's the fact. Be out here. It's a violation of my First Amendment rights. What? Your First Amendment? What part of the First Amendment does this violate? It, it, it violates the fact that I have my beliefs, you have yours, I respect uh -huh. yours, but you don't because you're out here with that sign. You need to, you said you would support and defend the Constitution, you don't even understand it. And you still don't understand the First Amendment? That's a shame. I hope you're not in the legal part, interpreting law. I'm a member of the American Bar Association. But you don't understand the First Amendment. I do understand. So, so have I. So have lots of people. But you say I'm breaking the law by having Bible verses out here? That's right. You can do whatever you want. I'm not stopping you from believing anything or doing anything religiously. <clears throat> Should have asked them how they say in Hebrew, it's a shame for a man to have long hair. What do they say that in Hebrew? I might come back. Look it up. Let's make uh, sure you got it no right. Looking up, I got it right. Well, where did you look it up? Where'd you get it from? It's in John. You look for it. It's there. It says only the, the Son comes in the Father's name, and no one can get to the Father except through the Son. Period. That's it. Only the Son knows the Father. And where did you read that? It's in John. Did you read that in the King James Bible? Uh, yeah. It's what was pushed at us in the Methodist Church for years and years and years, and then they were missing. 
mispronouncing the name, so that's okay. But Yah, okay, is the first part of Yeshua, which is Yah as well, which means right. that he comes in his father's name. Right. Because Yahshua stands for son of Yah. Okay. That's, that's fine for Hebrew speaking people, but I speak English. Excuse me. English is very plain. The Son comes in the Father's name. A title of Lord or God is not a name. What? That's correct. It's okay. A title. It's so, not a name. so Jesus comes in the name of Yeshua. No, it's his or, name. Of uh, Yahweh. That's correct. Okay, Jesus comes in the name of Yahweh. Well, what, what's wrong Jesus with that? Because there is no J in the Hebrew language. Well, I'm speaking English. We're speaking English. It's, it's, it's the same in all languages. That's the whole point. Same way with Yahweh. His name isn't God or Lo or Jehovah or Well, God is God is his title. Yeah. Well, no. That's what they took all the names out. It's like John the Baptist. It's not actually yeah. John the Baptist. It's Yah came. Okay? God's promise that he would have his son baptized by the one who came before him, who was the baptizer. Okay? Yah came. Very simple. Do you believe God can preserve his words for us to read? I believe that man misinterpreted and mis mis translated down from Mosaic Hebrew. It's been changed now. There's a doctor, Henry Kingley, from Birmingham, Alabama, who went back and translated the whole Bible. From what? From the original text. That's what Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The original text don't exist. Yes, they do. No. Yes, they do. Where is it? Where, where, where? Jerusalem. The they're Dead Sea there. Scrolls are in Jerusalem. No, they're more than the Dead Sea Scrolls in Jerusalem. God has shown us in His Word He doesn't pre He doesn't preserve the original text. Uh, yeah, that's that's in that book. Okay, that's, that's you, the whole you, point. you remember what happened to the original Ten Commandments? Well, there were twenty. Do you remember what happened to the original copy that Moses well, brought down? He got so enraged at the way the people were behaving and while Moses was up on the mountain that he destroyed one of the tablets. Right. So your doctor, whoever, didn't have that, did he? It got broken. I know there's there, copies, no. and this is the perfectly preserved copy. You, you remember what happened to the original book of Jeremiah? Please, again, Jeremiah. You're talking about not the man has the originals, and the originals original, don't exist. It, 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 at all, because it's not Jeremiah. There's no J in Hebrew language. But you're saying that somebody has the originals, and the originals don't exist. Yes, they did. And they were being translated by the British back under King James, and they missed they tried to translate them. They were not the Greek. originals. Yes, they were. They not were. the originals. Okay. It was called the majority text. There was over 5,000 yeah, manuscripts. People are so deceived. It's just like Donald Trump. So do you have a All perfect Bible? People, do you have a perfect well, Bible to read from? Bible. Well, how I do you have, know what God have, says have, if you don't have a perfect Bible? I have Yahweh and I have Yahshua. That's all I know. So you don't know what God says. You just make it up oh, in your no, own mind. I don't have to read that book to know what God what, says. What do you read to know what God says? I've read both that book and I, when I took divinity classes at UCLA. Yeah. And I read the... Ran, I read the, uh, so which one do you believe? Which one do I believe? Yeah. I believe that there is a Holy Spirit, okay? And I believe that there I, is I believe a, that. a supreme being. I believe he has a son. I believe okay. that he sent his son here to preserve us so that we may be forgiven for the things that we do. Other than that, the rest of it's all been mistranslated and misinterpreted and everybody has to go out and say what they think. So, so what do you think where the where the Bible says it's a shame for a man to have long hair? <laughs> what, what do you think? Where do you get that from? Why do you say that? Read, read carefully in the Bible where they describe him. It says nothing about long hair. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. The only time there's a physical description of him is when he's in his glory in heaven. And it doesn't say he had long golden yeah, hair. It's, it's, uh, You're just making up yeah, your own religion. That's your problem. This book condemns you. That's why you reject it. You know you're in trouble with God. Because if it's a holy book, it doesn't condemn anybody. You're going to be judged by God. I'm going to be judged by Yah. Okay, and I've already been judged. And He's going to use this book to judge you by. Guess what, dude? I've already been dead three times. Okay, and sent back by your. Well, that doesn't mean you're going to heaven. Yeah, it does. I'm more blessed than you have any idea. Well, well, a guy like you that makes up your own religion, I guess you can I just say whatever you want. My own yes, you are. No, I'm not. 
I've been dead. Mm -hmm. I've talked to the Holy Spirit. I've mm -hmm. talked to your Jesus, okay? No, so, you haven't. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Trust me, I have. I just died this, this <clears> month. <throat> I had two strokes. The second was a pulmonary illness, and I was out. If, oh, sir, if, if you don't put your faith in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and repent towards God with grief and godly sorrow, you're going to end up in hell. Yeah, that's your version. No, that's the truth. Yeah, that's the one that's going to get you burned. That's the truth. I don't want I you to end up in be hell, a minister, sir. Okay? I don't want I you to end up in do hell. I because of the phony bullshit put out for all these different religious sects. That's right. Okay? You got that right. Okay? So you got that right. No these are just money-making scams around here. I'm yeah. just a Christian with a Bible trying to help people like yeah, you, sir. Well, God didn't intend for people to go around doing that. He intended to be Well, that's what Jesus told lives. us to do. Jesus said to go into all the world and do what? <laughs> he said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to yeah, every creature. Well, what's God's version then? God's version is yourself, do good things, you See, you just made that up. Your God is your own mind. You are your own God. When you look in the mirror, when you look in the mirror, sir, you are looking at your supreme God, and He's going to fail you on Judgment Day. My point is that you met, you're your own God. The God you have in your mind is a fabrication. Internationally known, all over the fucking world. Okay. And you and you got a filthy mouth. You know what Jesus said about a filthy mouth? You know what? You know what? Jesus said, "Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks." It doesn't matter. You didn't use it for that reason. You use it as a filthy cuss word because you got a filthy heart. Yes, you do. Your heart, your, your mouth just exposed your filthy heart. Your world is going to fail you, sir. You're going to stand before God and Jesus is going to say, Depart from me, ye that worketh in iniquity. I never knew you. So you're a, a witch? Is that what you are? I'm a vessel from God. I heal people. Check around me all the time. You know the Bible says that he who sinneth, someone that keeps on sinning, is of the devil? He who sinneth is of the devil? Lucifer is a bad dude. He was stupid to fight Yahweh in the first place. He didn't fight. He didn't yeah, he did. fight. That's he was he got cast out of heaven. He, he, got, he was prideful. Him. He was prideful like you are, sir. The, dead, the devil is probably, it's, it's right on your hat. It says proud right on your hat. What? This so, is a Marine Corps hat, dude. Yeah. And I am proud to be a Marine. <laughs> there you go. You're prideful. No, I'm not prideful. I'm proud to be a Marine because I served and I am. You, you know your, your pride makes you an abomination to God according to his holy words? Yeah. That's awful judgmental, but that's unrighteous judgment. Let's just stop talking. That would be a good idea. You came over and talked to me. This, this is the second time you came over and talked to me. Apparently, you got a reason for it. Well, you hate the words of God, then. You hate, you hate the one that could save your soul. Where are they? Can you show me a copy of those words? Where are they, then? You know, the Bible says the heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked. The, the Bible says that a fool, a fool trusts in his heart. That's what the Word of God says. Bible verse that guy was talking about. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, post it in the comments below the video. Appreciate it.
quiet over here in this corner. But I don't want to be on the other side. It has to interrupt the event. Just stand up here and do some Bible reading and uh, see what happens. So I've come out here to read the Word of God, preach the Word of the Lord out here on the square tonight to whosoever may come. The Bible talks about whosoever may come unto the Lord. All that are, all that are uh, repentant, that love the Lord. Love his ways, love his word. Which is what we need to do with our lives. Love God and love our neighbor. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said the greatest commandment, commandment was to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And to love your neighbor as yourself is like unto the first commandment. See, we, I want people to uh, live blessed lives. And if people live... Uh, According to God's law, if they meditate on God's law, they can live blessed lives. God's law as we have it today, preserved in the Holy King James Bible, it says the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Because we even have bars right here on the square, right here in the middle of town, we got bars. But the word of God says, Woe well unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that putteth thy bottle to him, and makest him drunken, so that he may, so that thou may look on their nakedness. That's what happens in these bars a lot. Some guys, they try and pretend they're nice guys, and they buy women drinks, but what do they want? Well, the Bible says right here. They just want to look on their nakedness. Thou art filled with shame for glory. A lot of drunkards, they think they're all glorious. But actually, they're just full of shame, drunkenness, debauchery, railings, filthiness. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thyself be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and the shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. That's what happens to a lot of people who like to go and get drunk. They get all dressed up, dolled up, put on their best clothes. They get drunk and uh, their shameful spewing shall be on their glory. Very, very terrible lifestyle. For the violence of Lebanon shall cover thee, and the spoil of beasts, which made them afraid because of men's blood, and for violence of the land, of the city, and of, of all that dwell therein. Yes, when you have a lot of drunkenness, you have a lot of violence. Wherever you got any uh, place, like in uh, like the Honky Tonk District up in Nashville, wherever you got a lot of drunkenness, there's a lot of violence, a lot of shameful spewing. Those places tend to uh, have a foul odor to them. See, if you love God, you will obey Him. Jesus said, "If you love me, keep my commandments." Jesus said to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Unfortunately, most people in our society, they don't love Jesus with all their mind, do they? No, they feel full of alcohol, liquor. Yeah, you can't love God with all of your mind if you're drinking, or if you're uh, doing drugs, doing your opiates, or smoking your marijuana. You're obviously violating Jesus Christ's law, his greatest commandment, to love God with all of your mind. The drunkard. But the good news is that people can be saved. People can be saved from their drunkenness. See, if you're born again in Christ, you can be saved from your sin. Jesus came to save his people from their sin. It says right here, it says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? 
So when faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have ye not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Nobody has to die in their sin. Fear God. He will not always chide. Neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins. Now that's obvious that obviously God that hasn't dealt with us after our sins because we're not in hell. Praise the Lord. Nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Yes, if you feared God today, you'd have his mercy. But most people don't fear God. So on judgment day, you're not going to get his mercy. As far as the east is from the west, so far he hath removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. See, if you fear God, that's a good start. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of a field, so he flourisheth. Amen. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone. The place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. I hope everybody out here tonight is remembering God's commandments to do them, because that's the, that's the way you get his mercy, thus saith the Lord. Jesus said, if you love me, if you love me, keep my commandments. Most people that say they love Jesus, they don't keep his commandments. You know what that makes them? Liars. If you say you love Jesus and you don't keep his commandments, Jesus is going to call you a liar on judgment day. You know what happens to liars on judgment day? The Bible says that all liars will have their part in the lake that burneth with fire and brimstone fire and brimstone on judgment day for the liars see God wants to live you a, God wants you to live a blessed life God wants you to live a blessed life but most people they don't even know what a blessed life is most people say they want to live a blessed life but they don't know what it is a lot of people they think having lots of money is a blessed life no it's not a that's not a blessed life with most people having lots of money, just more rope, rope to hang themselves with. Look at Donald Trump. Look at the wicked life he lives. Right here in Psalm 1, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight, talking about the blessed man, his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. Do you meditate in the law of the Lord day and night? If you don't, I don't think you're blessed. The word of God says, the blessed man, his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bringeth forth his fruit, bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. I hope you're not living an ungodly life tonight, because you're going to be like the chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. If you're a sinner today, you're not going to stand in the congregation of the righteous. If you die as a sinner, well, what's going to happen to you? It says, For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So anybody living an ungodly life today, and if you die in your ungodly life, you're going to perish. And that's going to be eternal hell fire. Obviously, that's not a blessed life. If you're living a life that leads to hellfire, that's not a blessed life. That is a cursed life. Unfortunately, in America today, most people, they love their cursed life. Yes, they, they love their life of uh, drunkenness and drug abuse and, and rebellion. A lot of people live rebellious lives. That's not a blessed life. That's a life that's going to lead to destruction, a sinful life. Bible says in Psalm 32, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Most people today, most people today that they say they believe in Jesus, they really don't believe in the Jesus of the Bible. 
Well, then what do they believe in? They believe in a Jesus they made up. Most people, when they say they believe in Jesus, it's not the Jesus of the Holy Scripture. They made up a Jesus in their own mind, or maybe their religious system came up with a fake Jesus. The Romans got their fake Jesus. The Mormons, they got a fake Jesus. The Jehovah's Witnesses, they got a fake Jesus. The Muslims, Islam, they got a fake Jesus. That's idolatry. Idolatry to have a uh, false image of God. Most people, most people, their God is really their own self. The person that they see in the mirror while they uh, put on their makeup or shave in the morning, they're looking at their own God. The supreme, the supreme ruler of their life is their own selves. And they reject the words of God and the ways of God and the laws of God. You know what's going to happen on Judgment Day? God's going to reject them, and they're going to end up in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. They're going to end up in hellfire. But there is hope. There is hope in the Word of God. It says right here in the book of Colossians, it says, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness? That's Jesus Christ. Why are you such a potty mouth? Why are you so hateful? We don't want hate out here. It's why are you so hateful, Mr. Potty Mouth? Freedom of speech, man. Freedom of speech. See, some people don't want hope. Some people don't want, want to be delivered from the power of darkness. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Who is the image of the invisible God, Jesus Christ, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created. How did creation happen? Jesus spoke everything into existence. By all by, for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether there be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. So in case you're wondering what, uh, some people are still asking that question, what are we here for? What's life all about? Well, you were created for Jesus Christ, to love and serve him. If you don't live your life the way Jesus commanded you to, then you're gonna end up in hellfire. If you live in a contrary way to the Lord, if you're living as a sexual pervert, or as a drunkard, or as a drug addict, or as an idolater, you're gonna end up in hellfire. Unless you repent, Unless you repent towards God in grief and godly sorrow and put your faith in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, if you don't do that, yes, he's going to burn you alive for all eternity. I don't want my neighbors to be burned alive for all eternity. Matter of fact, God doesn't want to burn you alive for all eternity. God wants you to be saved. That's why the Bible says that God commands all men everywhere to repent. That's why it says that. First, the first word Jesus spoke when he began to preach was repent. The first word that John the Baptist said when he started to preach was repent. Because if you don't have a repentant heart towards God, a broken heart, a contrite spirit for the wicked person that you are, you're going to end up in hellfire. God doesn't want you to end up in hellfire. God doesn't want to have to judge you and punish you for all of eternity. That's why he's commanded you to repent. Death and hell. Because there's not going to be any sinners in heaven, praise the Lord. That's good news. No, there's no child abusers in heaven. None of those are going to be there. There's not going to be any drunkards, no liars in heaven. There's not going to be any potheads, no drunkards. No, the Bible says to live soberly. What's that? What's funny? Seth Rogen? Well, the life's not about funny. Life's about serving God. The Bible says that we were all created to love and serve God. But most people make up their own God. And then they end up living after their flesh. That's why we got so many problems in our culture, because people, instead of living for God, they live for their flesh. And when you live for your flesh, you get lots of problems, like sexually transmitted diseases, like hangovers and drunkenness, like opiate epidemic, drug addiction. A lot of people end up in idolatry, like Catholicism and Mormonism, Islam, Jehovah's Witnesses, Scientology. 
Or some people, they just think that they are God. Some people think that they're the smartest thing in the universe, and when they die, it's all over. Bad philosophy. We got some very terrible philosophies in our culture. Some people will even say, some people will even tell others to follow their heart. Now that's a bad philosophy, follow your heart. See, the Bible says that the heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked. You don't want to follow something that's deceitful and desperately wicked like your heart. No, you need to follow Jesus Christ, who is good and righteous and holy. The perfect, the perfect man, God himself. You need to follow Jesus Christ. if anybody wants to talk. keep what's that which ones what's your question which commandments you want me to keep i'm gonna mess with you thank you for coming out bro <laughs> are you a christian absolutely brother how'd you get to be a christian uh miracle uh 1994 i was up at uh uh it was an emmaus walk which is a christian weekend but i really wasn't super close I wouldn't say right. and I looked at my watch and I said God if you make I sponsored a guy and I said if you make him pick up the microphone and put it back down at exactly six o'clock I'd be really blessed yeah. but when I said that this guy walks up the guy picks up the microphone and I'm watching the second hand on my watch yeah. as soon as it hit six o'clock he put it down I yeah. cried I cried all the way going to the airport I got on a plane to Chicago. For the next 40 days, God gave me a miracle every single day. Every single day. You know what the Bible says about that? That was back in 1994. April 7, 1994. Yeah. Every day. You know what the Bible says about that? About what? Miracles? Yeah. What Jesus said about miracles? Do you read the Bible on a regular basis? I do. I teach the book of Revelation like three or four times. Well, Jesus said it's a wicked and adulterous generation that seeketh after a sign. I wasn't seeking after miracles. They were coming, brother. They were just coming. Do you, do you know how the Bible says somebody gets saved? He, he moved in my life and he... No, what, do you know what the Bible says? Romans 10, 9. For those who believe in their heart that Jesus is the Son of God, they shall be saved. Okay. Romans 10, 9. You think that's it? No, well, there's another Romans 8. Not Romans 8. That, that one right there does it for me. Do you know the first uh, word Jesus said when he started to preach? The Beatitudes? The no, first the, word. The first word he said was to repent. Right? That, that's grief, grief and godly sorrow for wrongdoing. So will you grieve toward God for all the wickedness you've done in your life? Oh, I did then, yeah. Yeah. I did. When he showed the miracle, I, I cried like a baby. I said, I have... And why were you crying? Because I was repenting. I was saying, God, you have been with me all along and forgive me for not seeing you doing work in my life. This is a miracle you've done for me. And that began my Christian experience. What about your sin? Oh, I stopped. 
dramatically stopped. I was drinking. I didn't drink any alcohol for seven years. Yeah, uh, good. Absolutely, yeah. No, it totally it changed. I got I got the nine fruits of the spirit in Galatians 5, 22, 23. Yeah. Joy, love, love, joy, peace. But that's how he got me, and I responded. So many are called, few are chosen. He called me that night, and I happened to turn around and heed the call. Yeah. Anyway, that was that was really good. You say you teach the Bible? Yes. Which Bible do you use? King James. That's the perfect word to shout. Yeah, there's. I pretty much adhere to that, but. Uh, so you don't adhere to that. Well. You think there's errors in the King James Bible? No, I don't. Look, in Timothy, it says the Bible's inerrant in all its ways. So I don't get in debates about NIV and King James. We, we shouldn't debate that. We should debate, do you really trust in your heart for Jesus Christ? Well, the NIV... That, that will separate... The NIV makes Jesus a liar. Did yeah, you know that? I'm on tape here. Uh, That's a big deal, right? If the Bible makes Jesus like a liar, then he can't die for our sins. There's no salvation. There's no atonement if he's a liar. I've been teaching the King James for 20, 25 years, whatever. But I won't come up to somebody and say, get out of my face because you are looking at the NIV or RSV or whatever. That's not the way to approach at least somebody in Christ. Right. But so. do you believe the King James Bible? Do you believe it's perfect? I believe in the book of uh, 2 Timothy, 1 Timothy 3.16, inerrant in all its ways. Yeah. In the Word of God. Right. Because otherwise, how could, God, how could God judge us by anything if all we have is something that's an error. But the Word of God goes way back to the Masoretic text and everything else. And so, right. But he's preserved. It, he's preserved it in the King James Bible. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm looking for my wife. Hey. It's good talking to you. Yeah, man. Oh. We're supposed to go into all the world and preach the gospel, right? That's right. Amen. Yep. You want some information about Jesus Christ? There you are. When you get done reading that, give it to somebody else. What, what you a denomination? No, no, there's no denominations in the Bible. What church you go to? What uh, believers you preach? Uh, I got some other street preachers I meet with up in Nashville. I okay. preach the word. Yeah. I appreciate you doing it. All right. It's, More people need to do it. That's what you're supposed to be doing, right? Eternity is. That's what you're supposed to be doing, right? Yeah, through your testimony. Jesus said to go into all the world and what? Preach unto them. Preach the gospel. Yes, sir. Yeah. And teach. Yeah. Thank you for doing it, though. All sure. right.
got some. Thank okay. you. Appreciate it. scream and holler and this is dedicated to my friends Buddy and Penny Hart and all of you rock and rollers out there except we're gonna do it through a swing kind of thing so it's gonna take you a second there. yeah you know what I'm talking about all right this one goes back to about 1984 so see what you think all right 